fresh, I'm so clean I'm my bitch in Celine, me and Phillips sipping lean This ain't no fuss What's up guys? I've got a ton of questions on how I mount my flags in my second gen. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick video on showing you guys that it's super easy, super cheap, super simple. I'll show you guys how to do it, exactly what you need to get from the hardware store, everything that you need to do it. Let's get those flags in your bed, celebrate the 4th of July, be a proud American, because we love this country. So you'll want to come over to your PVC section and grab yourself a stick of one inch pipe doesn't matter how big it is because you're going to cut it down anyway and grab yourself a stick of one and a quarter inch pipe and it fits perfectly together now for the inch and a quarter pipe you're going to want at least two foot sections for your um, anchors or mounts and then you can cut them down from there so overall length for the one inch pipe you're going to want enough to make however many flag poles you want however long you want so you also want some self tappers and you pick up a small box of these for like five or six bucks if you don't already have some. Last thing you'll need is some tube straps. I think they're less than three bucks. And then lastly, if you do want to paint it, you can pick up paint. I chose to bedline mine to match my bed so they're a little harder to notice. And the only other thing that you can get, and this is completely optional, I just think it makes them look a little bit cleaner, is a cap. Uh, these are a dollar a piece um, get them for each of the flag poles and then put it on top before you paint it makes it look a little bit nicer than just having pvc pipes it makes it look a little bit more professional um, so i chose to get a cap like i said they're a dollar a piece forgot to mention you also need some black zip ties get some strong ones um, also a drill bit if you don't have a drill bit get a drill bit because what you're going to do is drill through that pvc and then also obviously you're going to need flags so if you don't have flags make sure you pick up some flags so the nice thing is you can find everything that you need at your local hardware store. You probably don't need to make multiple trips. I walked out of there just under 16 bucks, but if you need to buy a drill bit or zip ties or flags, it might be a little bit more than that. So the way these install, you'll cut your inch and a quarter pipe down to the size that you wanted in there. You'll get your tube straps and self tap them in there, call it good. And that's your mount. So that's not your flagpole, that's what you're gonna slide your flagpole into. Make sure you're not drilling into something like this where you're not gonna be able to get the uh, flagpole in there. Make sure you have enough clearance. But you can put it anywhere you want. You can put it here, you can put it there. Some people like it on their tailgate. You're welcome to do that. Whatever you prefer. So all that you have to do to mount these is throw a tube strap over it, get you a self tapper and bang it down. Pretty easy. And then I did Raptor Liner on my bed, so they make it in a spray can too. This works really good for touch up and for kind of paint matching, if you will. So this is what I use to spray those mounts to make them kind of look a little bit more uniform in the bed. So the reason I truck bed lined them is because as you can see, they're not super out of place. That way you can leave them in there all year long and just slide flags in when you want them. My truck bed is super dirty right now, so don't pay attention to that. But that's about how they look. So let's go ahead and take a look at how you make those flag poles. So this is the flag pole that I had already made. So it's PVC pipe. I painted it black. There's some chipping on it because it's like three years old. Basically, I put my flag up to it, measured the points where the grommets were, and I just drilled a little hole through it. And then I can show you what it looks like once we zip tie the flag to it. Snip your tails. Don't be that guy. That's about how it should look all squared away. Then once everything's ready to go, just unfold your flag. Stick it in the flag pole. You're good to go. Make sure you follow all flag etiquette. Make sure you have it lit up at night if you're running it at night. Make sure you're not letting it touch the ground. Just be respectful, it's our country's flag.